Yes, uh, thank you very much for uh, taking my question. So basically my question is about free will. Um, a lot of famous atheists such as Stephen Hawking said that uh, free will is just an illusion and like to some of the evidence that he points to is that if we shock certain parts of the brain, uh, it could, you know, move your hand or it could lift your arm or whatever and that, you know, free will is just an illusion. My question is how, do you, how would you guys counter that? Did you just ask that question freely? Yeah. I think so, but they're saying at a molecular level that basically we are just cause and effect uh, machines. Right, so can I answer that question truly? Yeah. Because if I'm just a cause and effect machine, then the answer I'm going to give you is not a choice I'm making in my head rationally. It's dictated by neurons firing in my brain. So I can give you an answer, but it has no value because it doesn't necessarily mean it's true. It's just the inevitable consequence of my neurons firing. That's the problem you have with all of this, right? This idea that we are just material objects, brains, and the only activity that's occurring in there is neuron, physical activity in your physical brain, rather than immaterial thoughts in your immaterial mind. They deny mind, they deny free agency. So does Sam Harris, who's a neuroscientist and who's a philosopher, but he's arguing that there's no free will in a book that he wants us to evaluate freely to determine if it's true. I mean, think about that for a second. So we have this experience that we routinely, uh, all of us admit we have, in which we seem to make free choices. The question is, what worldview explains this freedom we experience? Is physical determinism, does that, does that explain it? I, I don't think so. I seem, to be, I seem to be changing my mind. No, but you're saying, no, I'm not. By the way, if I couldn't make a free decision, be prepared to lose important characteristics of the universe. That means you have no rationality because you cannot choose freely between two concepts based on the best inference from evidence. You can't do that. You have no creativity because you cannot choose freely between creative ideas. You have no ability to love because you cannot freely choose to embrace someone that way. It's just determined one way or the other. But worse than that for me as a law enforcement perspective is you have no personal culpability. Because that means, you could say before, look, I, it's not my fault. I was under the influence of a drug. Okay, it's not my fault. I ate something that changed my brain chemistry. It's not my fault. I was born with this inevitable brain chemistry. Do you see what happens? You lose the ability to say, dude, you made that choice. By the way, a lot of my guys will say that for, to a judge. One or the other. I was under the influence. Whatever. And every single time the judge says, uh, yeah, sorry, you had a choice. You had a choice to, to, to get to that point where you said you had no choice. That, that's never going to be an excuse for anybody. It's not his fault. He can't stop giving this answer. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching our video. If it was helpful and useful to you, I'd really appreciate it if you would follow us, subscribe to our channel at the bottom link here in the video, and tell your friends. And please follow us on social media. Thank <laughs> you.